By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe applications of total internal reflection of light, solve problems involving the applications of total internal reflection of light. Observe the animation. When a light ray with a big incident angle hits the inside boundary of a glass block, it doesn't get refracted but becomes totally reflected. This is called total internal reflection. Can you recall what conditions must be met for total internal reflection to occur? The discovery of total internal reflection has led to many useful innovations. The animation shows one of the innovations that total internal reflection has made possible. Do you know what it is? It is a periscope. What happens to the light ray when it reaches the glass prism at XY? The light ray is not refracted. It enters the glass prism at XY following a straight path. What is the incident angle of the light ray at XZ? The incident angle of the light ray at XZ is 45 degrees. Given that the critical angle of glass is 42 degrees, what happens to the light ray when it tries to exit the prism at XZ? Since both the conditions are met, total internal reflection occurs. What happens to the light ray at YZ? The light ray is not refracted. It exits the glass prism at YZ following a straight path. A mirror will not reflect as efficiently as a prism because some of the light gets refracted on its glass surface before hitting the reflecting silver surface. A prism reflects all the light rays. The quality of the image will be better. Right-angle glass prisms are used in a submarine. Where do you think they are? Right-angle glass prisms are used in the periscope of the submarine. With the addition of lenses, the periscope is a powerful tool to see while remaining hidden. The pictures show soldiers in the First World War. In both pictures, the soldiers are hiding in trenches to avoid being seen by the enemy. Can you spot another similarity between the soldiers in both pictures? One of the soldiers in both pictures is using a periscope to spy on the enemy. The reflectors of a car work in a similar way as the glass prisms in a periscope. What happens to the light ray when it reaches the glass prism at XZ? The light ray is not refracted. It enters the glass prism at XZ following a straight path. What is the incident angle of the light ray at YZ? The incident angle of the light ray at YZ is 45 degrees. Given that the critical angle of glass is 42 degrees, what happens to the light ray when it tries to exit the prism at YZ? Since both the conditions are met, 
total internal reflection occurs. What happens to the light ray at XY? Total internal reflection. The light ray is reflected to XZ. It exits the glass prism at XZ following a straight path. The prism acts like a mirror, reflecting light twice until it bounces back in the direction it came from. Imagine that this prism is made of red plastic and that there are many of them side by side. What would you get? Reflectors Do you know what this is? The picture shows optical fibers that are transmitting light. An optical fiber is made up of super thin filaments of glass or other transparent materials that can carry beams of light. Let's take a closer look at how light is transmitted. Optical fiber. What happens to the light ray as it passes through the optical fiber? Total internal reflection. The light ray is reflected all along the optical fiber. How is this possible? Are the conditions for TIR met? The light is traveling from glass, denser medium, to air, less dense medium. The light is directed such that the incident angle is greater than the critical angle. Both conditions for total internal reflection are met. The light ray is reflected at the boundary. Telecommunications and medicine are two fields that have greatly benefited from the discovery of fiber optics. The video shows a doctor conducting a scanning procedure using an endoscope. An endoscope contains a bundle of parallel optical fibers. The outer fibers transmit light into the patient, while the other fibers returns an image. This method gives a clearer picture than an X-ray picture. If tiny cutting tools are added to the optical fibers, these tools can be used by doctors to perform microsurgery. This procedure is far less invasive than conventional surgery. Complete the crossword puzzle. Mouse over for clues.